Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for talking about Grace Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Jackie O's Pub and Brewery. They're out of Athens, Ohio. Guys, I've done this beer a couple years ago. Uh, I didn't go back and watch the video. I don't know what I gave it. I don't know what I thought of it. I'm going to do this. And a lot of times I go back and see what I thought of it then and see if it changes. But I'm not going to do it on this one. We're going to grade this one straight up like I've never had it before. Uh, Rico spent his hard-earned money on this. And so we're going to re-review it. Uh, this is the 2017 version. And I don't think this is actually done in 2017. It says here, hmm, he traded for this. And it says the ABV is on the side of the ABV is on the side of the label, which is ten and a half, Russian Imperial Stout. I don't think they date uh, their beers. Uh, we'll take a closer look and see if I can find a vintage or something as far as any kind of dating on it when we come back. But I don't think they uh, they date their stuff. So we're going to do this straight up. It's probably a 2016 edition of it. But we're doing it here. This day is the 20th of February of 2017. So we're going to redo this one. Uh, Alright, uh, let's get into it. Commercial description says this haunt, haunting, easy for me to say, hauntingly uh, good brew in your hands is ripe with dark complexities. Eleven moths were used to create deep flavors of coffee, chocolate, caramel, and molasses. A hint of bitterness and herbal character from carefully selected American hops help support the monolithic maltiness of dark apparition. A truly decadent brew that is intended to be poured into your favorite snifter and given time to warm up from its dark and cold resting place. Be aware when in the presence of dark apparition cause this ghost is a creeper. No doubt. It uh, says 10.5% there. Uh, I don't know if they've got it listed on here. Yep, ten and a half. So it's a ten and a half percenter. This is definitely a sipper. Uh, and what I've gotten sent to me from Jackie is I can't get them here. Uh, they're pretty tasty beer. They brew some awesome stuff, guys. They really, really do. So, uh, like I said, I did go back and watch the video that I did a couple years ago on this beer when it was sent to me. So uh, Enrico spent his hard on money, like I said, on this, and we're going to re redo it. So, uh, that's all we need to talk about. So, let me get the cap off of this thing and I'll tell you. Food for you says, General Chocolate Dessert Digestive. Little hiss on this bottle. Last part of Pint Becker Nonic Tumbler Snifter. Got my favorite snifter here. Ten and a half. Let's go down the center here. And it says here it can be set up for a long, long time. And I can't think of a single reason why you couldn't. Because I don't think it's had any coffee. I guess the coffee knows from the malt. Straight down the center, guys, and the head is just barely covering the top of the beer. Over into the light, uh, there's none. It's pitch black, guys. Let's get a nose to it. Rich roasted malt. Some slight hint of some sweetness in there. I don't think they used lactose in the brewing of this beer. Doesn't say it did, or they did. The aromas are very subdued, though. Not getting any big booziness or alcohol on the nose. Tells me it's very well made for a ten and a half percent. Might be some slight hint of some dark fruit or in there, or some tobacco or licorice. Not getting a lot on the nose, though. So let's find out what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico.
Everything has come together and combined very well in this beer. Very smooth drinking for a ten and a half percent. Nothing is standing out more than anything else. I'm not getting any huge alcohol notes or any huge chocolate notes or any huge any kind of notes. Everything is blended very well right now. Another reason I want to see a date or a vintage on these style of beers, guys. Uh, I don't know what vintage this is. Is it a 2016? Is it a 2014? Is it a 2010? I don't know how long they've been doing this beer. That's why I want to see this is a 2016 edition. This is a 2014 edition. Whatever. I want to see that on there. And I don't know how big Jackie O's is. i got a feeling they're fairly decent size and they can afford to date their stuff. So, like I said, I didn't go back and look at the review. I may have thought this was the best thing since sliced bread when I did it two years ago. I'm not so sure I'm going to equal the grade that I did then. My palate has changed and I've had over 2,400 beers now in, in the beer reviews. So something that got a 10 back then may not get it now. And something that may have over my, overpowered my palate back then and didn't get to 10 may get it now. So we'll see where this one ends up. Very, I will say, it is a very smooth drinking beer for a 10.5%. And we'll take a closer look at the bottle when I come back. It's still got some condensation and stuff on there. And see if there's any kind of dating on the bottle when I come back. So let's let it warm up and step out and finish up my cigar that I was smoking on earlier. And sip on this for just a little bit and let her have a little bit and see where we end up with. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I just all up here. Uh, I looked at the bottle when I got back here and it does have 2016 written in their label uh, on the side here. So this is a 2016 edition of it. And like I told you earlier, I did this beer a couple years ago and the uh, bottle was very tasty. Uh, and uh, I still think it's a very tasty beer. Uh, I would like to see some kind of month or something on it, but we got the, the vintage, the, the year. 2016 on this particular version here. So it's just as tasty as I remember it being. Uh, alcohol is super well hidden for 10.5%. Very smooth, very easy drinking. A lot of roasted malt. It's not bourbon barrel aged or anything. It's not a barrel aged beer, but very, very nicely done. Very well done. Uh, it is definitely a sipper. This, drink this one at home because uh, it will sneak up on you. The alcohol is so well hidden in this. Uh, you you might think you're drinking a seven or eight percenter, and it's a ten and a half. Final coat. Wow. Very smooth. Very easy drinking. Delicious. Absolutely delicious, guys. Uh, Nine out of ten for me on this one. All the way this could be better is to have a bourbon ballet version of it. And they do a bunch of different versions of this beer. So uh, you could pick up a, bur a bourbon barrel version of this if you wanted to. And like I said, they, they do a bunch of different versions of this. So very tasty. 9 out of 10 for me. Numeric rating on this guy would probably be a 98. That's where I would put it. Let's run over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 93. Outstanding. I think it's a tad better than a 93. Uh, over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer has it at 99 overall and 89 in style. So we got a 99 from those guys. And our final check-in, we'll run over to Untapped, and they have it at 4.13, which is definitely in their A category too. So definitely an A beer, guys. Uh, if you can get uh, uh, the Jackie O's beers, uh, uh, this is their Dark Apparition. Very tasty. Very, very nice beer. Very well done beer. And uh, I do appreciate them putting... The vintage on the label there. I didn't see it before when I come back and looked at it. I said, oh, it's right here, fool. Uh, it's on the label. You don't have to look at the bottle. Or you can see it right on the label. And this is the 2016 uh, edition of this. So, Just as tasty as I remember it being, guys. It's a very nice beer. So if you've had this one from uh, Jackie O's, their Dark Apparition, let me know what you think of it, guys. And come on back tomorrow. Let's take something out of the fridge. See you then.